welcome to Medical Minutes here on Time Warner Cable, DMG TV 2. This special episode, we will explore all about the Rainbow Connection with Executive Director Carmel Howder. We'll tell you how you can get help and how they're expanding their programs. All coming up on Medical Minutes. I think the hands-on aspect is going to give you an opportunity to explore, find out what you're good at, what you like, and you're not going to have mountains of debt. What you're going to have is a marketable skill that even if you don't love it, you can use that to pay to go on to college and get that degree. And we've got a number of students that do that. They're, they're very mature. I think we're great hands-on exploration base. Hi, I'm Elaine Miller with Naturally Green Cleaning Service. My company serves both commercial and residential clients. We do general cleaning, spring and fall, empty homes to get them move-in ready, and final cleans for new construction. We use eco-friendly cleaning products that leave your home or office fresh, clean, and safe for you, your family, pets, or coworkers. Our focus at Naturally Green is to provide excellent customer service paired with outstanding work to build a relationship of trust with you, our clients. Having served the area four plus years, we have had many referrals and testimonials that you can access on our website at www.naturallygreencs.com. Our work sells itself, therefore we have never had any contracts even with our largest commercial accounts. Call us today for your free quote and see what makes our company stand out. Welcome to Medical Minutes here on Time Warner Cable DMG TV 2. I'm Jennifer Clark, your host, and we are with Carmel Howder. She is the Executive Director of the Rainbow Connection here in Tuscarawas County. Welcome. Thank you again. Isn't this fun getting together once in a while and talking about our great community? Oh, yeah. I always like talking to you. <laughs> you got all kinds of information. We have a packed show for you, and we're going to start out explaining what the Rainbow Connection is. What, what do you guys do? Let's start from the beginning. We're the Tuscarawas Society for Children and Adults. That pretty much tells you what we do. We're here to help the disabled and disadvantaged people of Tuscarawas County. Because of our age, we remember when this organization was Easter Seals, even though you're a lot younger than I am. When we were Easter Seals, it was only children. And of course, of course, our budget was a lot smaller than we have now, but over the years we have grown and expanded, and the original Rotarians that started the Rainbow Connection decided to break away from Easter Seals because too much of the money was leaving our community here in Tuscarawas County. Where was it going? It was going to wherever Easter Seals, Cleveland, Easter Seals out of the area. They never wanted it. They wanted that money raised here, say, you know, spent here on the people most in need. So we broke away and we became Came Tuscarawas Society for Children and Adults. Whoever named us the Rainbow Connection, I don't know. I've never found out, but the money is all spent here on our residents of Tuscarawas County because of how lucky we've been and how blessed we've been with the generosity of our community. We've been able to grow, so it's not just children. We're moving into helping families, people that work. Everyone knows how high deductibles are and your co-pays, and we're able to help people with those sort of things. We still focus on catastrophic illness, which includes all the biggies you know you've got your cancer your diabetes your heart disease we also are able to help with severe infections antibiotics are so expensive because they the way they've had to be developed so we're helping with all that sort of thing when you're being released from the hospital and you have your fist full of prescriptions we're able to help you yeah because those can be very expensive it's staggering and it's upsetting a you're sick B, you really didn't prepare to, for this outlay of money leaving the hospital, and you've got five prescriptions that need to be filled. Very upsetting to a sick patient. So we're able to help with that. We're working very closely with Union Hospital because of their pricing. We're able to work through their pharmacy now, their patient pharmacy. Did you see that? It's a beautiful facility. So we're working with them now. We could save some money. The patients are getting what they need. It's a very simple process because we're so closely related. It's a great partnership. So we've been doing this sort of thing, and it, so I just really want the public to know that we're not just children anymore. 
Uh, and not just illness. I mean, there's equipment to right. get, and there's special playground equipment, and you've really branched out. We have to provide equipment for children in the schools, in the hospital, and in their homes. Things have changed. I've been around a few years. It's now over 18 years I've been with the Rainbow Connection. At one time, when we used to buy huge co uh, communication boards. They're iPads now. They're apps on iPads. We have to be able to communicate, and that's first and foremost. We buy standers and walkers and desks that are adaptable for any sort of a disability, someone that needs adaptability. We're able to do all that. Computers have changed so much. I was around in the days when if you had a hearing disability in the classroom, you wore big headsets. The teacher had a big microphone. It's all wireless, tiny little hearing aids now. You don't know who is hearing uh, impaired in your class anymore. Everyone is kept. They're included in the classrooms now, and the equipment adapts for that, and we're able to provide it. Now, how are you able to provide that? Where does your funding come from? I'm going to tell you, and I've said it a hundred times, we wouldn't exist anywhere but here in Tuscarawas County. We have a telethon. Woohoo! I have to say that. <laughs> we have a telethon once a year, and that's our major fundraiser. And we have many, many corporate sponsors now, big corporations and individuals. I still have Philip Fischio. He's one of my main corporate sponsors that have been with us for years and years and years. He's graduating high school and going on to college. He has raised so much money for the Rainbow Connection. Corporations step up. Doctors' offices, individuals step up and donate money to the Rainbow Connection. All the philanthropic clubs around, oh, everywhere in Tuscarawas County donates money to us. And they have like gaming accounts, charity gaming accounts. And a lot of that comes to the Rainbow Connection. We add all that up. And this year, you know, we went off air at the telethon at over $213,000. And now it is our responsibility to spend that money on the most, you know, the individuals in our community that need the help the most and that's what we do now we've talked about some of these services and, and having you know breaking a record almost right. every year in fundraising yes. um, every year Jennifer well, yeah. every. and what are you going to do um, in addition to what you already provide what we're doing is, I'm getting the word out. Sometimes you forget about the Rainbow Connection, and I'm going to look at the women in our community right now. They forget, and you know how women are. It's all right. Someone needs it more. We'll manage. We want to help. We have the dollars. We want to help. Women with cancer need our help. You are just buried in medical bills, just with your co-pays, your deductibles, your wig. Why shouldn't you have something lovely? And, you know, don't you look at them. <laughs> you're looking a little verklempt. Don't get verklempt on me because I'm too old for that. But so, all of these different services for women, uh, right. and, and it's all being paid for from, like you said, the generosity of the That's community. That's all it is. The community comes together, donates money to the Rainbow Connection, and then we get to spend it to those that need it the most. And how do you apply for this money? Where do you find all of these people? This is so easy. I talk to anybody that'll listen to me. I go to the hospital, talk to groups at the hospital. I talk to the billing ladies at the hospital. I go to all the schools, special ed coordinators, principals, superintendents of schools. And you saw them all on our telethon this year. They step up to help us raise the money. I tell them, you know, what we have, what we could provide. By talking to so many different groups of individuals, I get to tell them that we have money for women with catastrophic illness. Women shouldn't hold back and ask for help. We're here for them, and we have the money to do it. I also tell them, and they know, day after a telethon come, you know, this first Monday of March, my phone's ringing off the wall because I make it clear we have money. And my job is to raise it, and my job is to send, you know, spend it all on the people that need it the most. Fantastic. Now, we're going to talk about some of those more specific programs right. that you fund as Medical Minutes continues after this. WJER and TV2 would like to introduce you to a new website, WJERTV2.com, where you can watch exciting high school football, soccer, and volleyball replays from TV2 Sports on your home computer, smartphone, or tablet. Also watch the latest episodes of TV2's original programming, Sports Talk, The Garden Girl, The Not-So-Shy Chef, Off the Record, and Medical Minutes, as well as catch up on local community news and search for local businesses. So make sure to check out 
the new WJERTV2.com community website where everything's local. Myers & Miller Podiatry provides complete foot and ankle care to patients of all ages. The practice was established in 2000 by Dr. Adam Myers and has grown to include Dr. Andy Miller in 2007, Dr. Jason Bakich in 2010, and most recently Dr. Kristen Henry in 2015. Our core values of respect and honesty are the basis for how we manage our practice and we continue to grow by building relationships with our patients in order to better serve their needs. Myers & Miller Podiatry serves Tuscarawas and Holmes counties with offices in Dover, Sugar Creek, Newcomerstown, Millersburg, and our newest location in Eurexville. Let's get started with building our relationship. Welcome back to Medical Minutes here on Time Warner Cable, DMG TV 2. I'm Jennifer Clark, and we are talking in this entire episode with Carmel Howder from yeah. the Rainbow Connection. Uh, our first segment was all about what you, what you do for this community. The general. And, mm -hmm. and, but more specifically, some one program uh, talks about diabetes care because right. so many people are struggling with diabetes either insulin dependent or non-insulin dependent. Correct and it's a serious situation in our community and I'm imagining all across the country I don't know why it's so rampant. We're right now helping a family with three insulin dependent children. The interesting thing about it is the parents are not diabetics. How does that happen? And it's not their lifestyle so don't somebody say oh it's their no it's not their lifestyle they're extremely healthy healthy people, but they have three insulin-dependent children. So, now, And explain what that means, insulin-dependent. Oh, they take injections. They take injections. And it's awful. You know, it's, it's a lot of work and it's a lot of responsibility for the caretakers of these children. And they're very young. And even though I do have a signed release, we don't need to, you know, actually say who, but we have a family we're working with. And this is repeating itself all the time now with individuals that are now insulin-dependent, whether they're on a pump whether they're taking injections every day, several times a day, watching their sugar. But the thing that strikes me the most and the hardest is, since I've been around so long, a vial of insulin that was $58, or now it's all the way up over $300 a vial. And when you're, I want the public to know, when you go to your pharmacy, you have to check prices. If they have any special additional discounts, you have to make it, you know, clear that you need all the help you could get. And I'm way, you know, I expect the pharmacist to then say, you know, maybe the rainbow can help. Rainbow Connection can help you, and they often do. And we get a lot of referrals straight from the pharmacy because people can't pay. whether you're... Or even their insurance might not cover it. No, no, or it's a portion of it. And when you're hit with these big bills all the time, your young children going for testing constantly, and you're in, you know, we're getting testing, and now you're hit with this insulin, or if there's a gap in your insurance, which helps, you know, I mean, it happens often where people have a gap, and now all of a sudden you're responsible for the whole vial amount. That's where we come in. We could help you get on your feet. We're those people that just give you a hand up, and then you're able to manage your life. We're not a government agency. We don't get any government money. We don't write any grants. It's all individually donated by people in our community. So we're here to help you up. I don't have the pockets of our government. So that's pretty strict. I mean, we're going to help you for periods of time, you know, sometimes six months at a time, and then we look at your costs involved, sometimes a year at a time we could do that for you but it's not a lifelong it gives you that time to adjust your life adjust your expenses but diabetes is a chronic disease right. so it's going to be a but lifelong problem it is a lifelong problem and oftentimes you're able then to get insurance or you're able to get a medical card through the government and if not we're going to be there for you I had to tell a young mom this week we're going to be there. You need to call us. You know, you just need to let me know. And I'm able to work with the pharmacies. Mommy doesn't have to keep running in and out here. And oftentimes now, mommies are working. 
They're working. Everybody's working to try and make ends meet. And I want to make their lives easy. Once I get the fundamental information I need, I'm able to work directly then with the pharmacy because I get a signed release. And I'm able to help families like that. Even with someone coming out of the hospital with their hand full of prescriptions or any sort of, you know, you need a brace on your leg. Well, you don't get around well. I can't expect you to keep coming in out and out of my office. So we're able to work with the suppliers of almost all the equipment needed and when you deliver these things you know when you when you tell that family with three children it's with hard. diabetes and you tell them we can help you right. what's their reaction like well you know what it would be especially for mommy you know mommy's stressed out to the hilt I don't see a lot of the daddies so the mommies get really emotional and at my age you can't be emotional around me because I'll cry all my makeup off <laughs> so it's just I'm always happy to say, okay, you just go to the pharmacy. It's all taken care of. You pick it up, you know. And when I first took this job, we do, we still do an awful lot for children with needs. And I told people a long time ago, you don't need to bring your child in here. You know, I work through the schools, through the therapists. I work through all the experts because I'm not. And, you know, I, I'd work that way because I'm a softie. You know, I try not to be, but I am a softie. Well, I you know, would think anyone that has special needs kids yes. or things that, that they really do need help from the Rainbow Connection, right. I would probably have my kid with me too, but they don't they need to do. do it to prove it. The best child many, many years ago, they asked, they asked for a corner chair, and I didn't know what that was, you know, and it's a chair to build the core strength of this child that had no core strength, couldn't sit. So we bought it, and the child was a student at Starlight. So the year later, ready for the telethon, I said, oh, let's get a little video of this child. He's going to be so cute. He's sitting in the little chair. It's going to be so nice. I show up with a video crew. I've got the superintendent of Starlight there. I've got the principal, the teachers, we're all set to go. Where's the kid? We're like, okay, so I had a file. So where is, you know, where is the little boy running around, toddling around? We had to bribe him with food to even sit in the chair to snap a photo of him. In one year, he went from not being able to hold his body weight to then on his legs. Now there's a success story. That's a success story. But we have a lot of them. We have a lot of them, and that's what makes me come to work every day. When you see children grow and develop, it's amazing. And even adults that you help, I'm sure they're just as grateful. You know, people do fall on hard times, uh, no fault of their own, their illness, and, and oftentimes you may lose your job because you can't return to your job. And when we could help them get back on their feet, and then years later they donate to us, and I recognize all the names. It's just, um, that to me is amazing. Because, you know, people often say, when I'm back on my feet, I, I'm going to be there. I'm going to donate. And a lot of them have donated back to our organization. Wow. And yeah. that is the Rainbow Connection here in Tuscarawas County, right. helping children and adults. And we will tell you about a special program because not everyone knows about the Rainbow Connection. So we're going to need to get the word out. Right. And we'll have more right after this. Hi, this is Heather, the Garden Girl, and I am so excited to be able to announce to you guys, the viewers, that I have now opened the Garden Girl Shop. Well, where are you going to find me at? It's real easy. I'm located at 1881 Seven Mile Drive, tucked in behind the Point Cafe. So come visit me Wednesday through Fridays from 10 to 6, Saturdays from 10 to 4, Sundays from 11 to 3. However, if you see the big garage door up, that means I'm here and you are always more than welcome to stop in. Also, don't forget my priority is educating you guys, so stay tuned for all my make and take workshops where you can come in, learn, get your hands dirty, and head home with your very own projects. Can't wait to see you. Searching for quality bottled water? Call Crystal Springs Water Company. Crystal Springs Water is a family owned and operated company that's been proudly serving the community since 1986. Crystal Springs offers a quality bottled water in a variety of sizes to suit your everyday needs. They also carry a selection of water coolers, cups, bottle racks, hydro pumps, and premium water softening salts. All available for pickup or delivery. Call Crystal Springs Water Company today.
And once again, welcome back to Medical Minutes here on Time Warner DMG TV 2. I'm Jennifer Clark, and this episode we're talking all about the Rainbow Connection with Executive Director Carmel Howder. And Carmel, we've talked about what the Rainbow Connection does. Right. We've talked some specifics about diabetes care because so many people in our area are struggling with their diabetes. Yes. But there are some people who don't come to you that should. And right. that is women with cancer. Correct. Because you know how women are. Take care of someone else. I'll be okay. When I see the devastation that cancer does to a family financially, it got my attention when someone comes to you and, please, can you make my house payment? I can't make your house payment, but I could clear up your medical bills. And then you make your house payment. When a family comes to us in, in dire need, we want to be there for them. And I, have, I answer to the type of board that feels, yes, let's help them. And that's what we do. And oftentimes we have to move quickly because by the time women come to us, oftentimes they're toward the end of their life. And we want to be there for them. We really don't want to leave that debt behind because they can't rest in peace until everything Thing is cleared up that's how women are and you know that so that's what we're there for right down to the wig and every, anything else that they need to make them more comfortable and live out however many days they have right now when they come to you like you said they're at, at the end of their illness right um, how early can they come to you the diagnosis when they start the treatment and that's why I'm screaming it from the rooftops I'm visiting every woman's group I could think of churches teachers nurses everyone I could meet with to let them know come to us and let's see what we could do to help you even if it's some of the medications even the medications that make you feel better with along with the chemo treatments we're able to help with your medical stays and then you have all these medical bills because of the constant testing it's bills upon bills and i'm going to tell you i've learned one thing over the years it's the paperwork that upsets the people. I'm like, you don't have a financial problem. You've got a paper problem. Right, because you're sitting at your kitchen table with reams. piles and piles. Reams. And I, so I help them sort through all of that paperwork and get it down to, okay, you owe the hospital this much, the doctor this much. And then we negotiate. And all those bills come separately. <laughs> they all come separate in separate envelopes. And people that are very, very organized, and when they're ill, they stick them back in the envelopes. So before you know it, they have a stack and that's my job. I help them go through the reams of paper and then I negotiate with the doctors and the hospitals to clear those bills up. Wow, now how often do you get to do that? I do it every day, all day. I mean, this is what I do now and we meet, the board meets once a month and then they vote on X amount of dollars that we could help the individuals. Now, uh, but women aren't coming to you how do you how do you reach those women the women are starting and then women you know women now all of a sudden you know Jennifer tells Carmel, Carmel tells Shelly, Shelly tells Janelle, and before you know it now, I'm getting many, many requests, but I don't stop talking about it. If I have lunch at What's Cooking Cafe or any of the other supporters, which there's many uh, restaurants out there, you could tell, as I go to those restaurants, I'm talking to individuals about what we're able to do, because it may be a waitress, it may be a cook, it may be a busser, it might be somebody that might need our help with some medications. But, you know, there's always someone else who needs it more than I oh, do. women, women, women. That's how it is. But they're starting to come to us because I'm not a threatening personality. They know who they're going to get on the phone. I don't care if you pronounce my name correctly. We're here to help. I've been doing it a long time. And you'll be surprised at how many bosses in restaurants and business tell their employees to call us. And that's what I'm doing it for. Is there an income eligibility? We are a charity, so we look at income minus expenses, but we also look at the severity of the illness. You know, you need our help. If you start paying out these big bills, I know you're not going to recoup your money in a month. So we're taking a look at that. We're the, we are the fairest Christian people I've ever met. My board is second to none. And to be able to do that, we talked earlier in the show mm -hmm. about the, the Rainbow Connection right. Telethon every right. March, and it you know raises, this year you said $213,000. Yep. 
uh, I'm sure that's going to run out sometime. It's not an endless pot of money. We literally worked from year to year. My first, you know, many years here at the Rainbow Like Connection. some of us go paycheck to paycheck. Correct. And we would be breaking the bank at the end of the year. And that's how we survived. And then we'd have a telethon. We'd be back up and running. Of course, our budget was a lot smaller back then. Now that we're talking about $213,000, we could make that stretch a little further. But one woman from our community, Velma Truman, has guaranteed the future of the Rainbow Connection through a How'd she do that? <laughs> she lived a frugal life and she, there were organizations in this community that she truly believed in and left us her money. And she has done very well for herself. She was not a flashy woman. I had met her, and she truly believed in the Rainbow Connection, truly believes in hospice. And she has, since we have a small budget, you know, everything was given to us, the house, our utilities, this place costs us nothing. This guarantees our future for a very long time, helping the individuals that need it most. And by having the telethon, we could give more and more, and that's what we're doing through the expanded, uh, you know, things that we're able to do for individuals. Individuals. So you should still give during the telethon, right? Well, that's the only way it's going to make it. It's the only way it's going to survive for many years to come. And I don't see health care getting any cheaper in America. So with her generous gift and our telethon, we're able to help all the schools, the hospitals, people in need, their medical needs, and keep this going for long after I'm no longer here. Now, tell us about uh, how to apply again. They just call you and the phone yes. number? Please, just call me at 330-343-8686. I'm still in the phone book. Of course, we have a beautiful website. I'm on Facebook. Don't leave me Facebook messages, though, on the rainbow. You'll see my name. Just leave me personally a Facebook message. We'll get back to you. It's a very simple application process. I need it signed, which is a release form, so then we're able to help you. So I could talk to doctors all offices and billing people about you. Wow, so much that you do and now some some stability in the yes. finances really makes it help. We don't have to worry anymore. There was a time when I mean, the treasurers, the accountants, my board members are like, you know, getting nervous. And I'm thinking, God will provide. And he always did. We never broke the bank 100%. We got awfully close every year. But we made it. We made it every year. And now we have less of a burden and we could help more people because of it. Thank you so Thank much you. for being on Medical Minutes. Carmel Howder, the Executive Director of the Rainbow Connection. And for Medical Minutes, I'm Jennifer Clark.